Hello Earthlings, today is Monday, September 10th, 2012, and it is International Suicide Prevention Day. I've talked a lot about suicide and suicide prevention in the past, but what I'm going to talk about right now is just what I've been going through recently. I'm doing this because one of the most helpful things can be just knowing that other people are going through the same things. And one of the most helpful things for me has been seeing other instances of other people who are going through the same struggles. Behind me is the Tacoma Glass Bridge. Ta-da! Increasingly, since very close to the start of this year, this has been the spot that I kind of fantasize about a lot more than I wish I were. Because, and while I now see that it is much higher in my memory than it ever is in reality, this is the spot that I keep thinking about jumping off of. Never mind the fact that this probably wouldn't be as lethal as I imagined. There are plenty of high places in Tacoma to jump off of, plenty of fast roads to end up in. The point isn't the plan or the ineptness of it. The point is the feelings behind it. As I said, I've talked a lot about suicide and suicide prevention in the past, but this one is a little different. I'm not really going into this knowing what I'm saying. I'm just processing the things I'm feeling, and hopefully it can speak to other people out there who are feeling the same things, and maybe give you an idea that you're not alone, you're not the only one going through this kind of stuff, and asking for help is kind of the, the next step, but first just know that you're not the only ones feeling this. So we'll start with back in 2003. I was 18 and I was very, very depressed. I had, in what seemed to me a very short amount of time, lost several relatives. I wasn't progressing in my life very quickly and I already suffered from a great, great deal of depression uh, just without any outside factors. It was my senior year and I set myself a lot of benchmarks that I had to meet or it just wouldn't be worth living. I did not meet any of those benchmarks. I failed in every respect and I very nearly ended my life. Whether chance, fate, or whatever sort of thing you believe in, I was not alone after school the day I planned to do it and that is the reason I'm alive today. After that happened, I vowed never to get that low again. And for years, despite constantly struggling with depression and struggling with sometimes just the need to give up, I have not gotten that low until this year. This year has been very, very difficult for me in terms of dealing with the never-ending struggle. Since very early in the year, and uh, increasingly so this summer, I have been dealing with days where I just shut down and can do nothing other than will myself not to go down to the glass bridge or another high place and jump. One day walking back from the store, it was only because of my friend Shauna that I kept walking when everything in myself just wanted to give up, lay down in the alley, and wait to die. I'm very lucky that having been to this place before and come out of it with a new perspective that I know that there are people who care about me. I know that things get better as much as they may suck in the present, and I know that I have an impact on the world. Not everybody is that lucky, and to be perfectly honest, it's very easy to conveniently forget. And even as I struggle to continue and make things better, I need that support system of, of people and good things. I need things to remind me what I'm fighting for. Because sometimes giving up seems like the best and easiest option. Even if I know that there are good things around the corner, sometimes it just... I can't keep pushing for them. Above all else, I tend to look around me and inside at myself and think that the person that I am just doesn't work in the world. I look around me and inside of me and I see a lot of endings and futility and just that never-ending struggle. And it's very hard, so very hard sometimes to remember what I'm struggling for. And my subconscious isn't helpful because even while I'm trying to keep pushing I look back and I see myself engaging in 
self-destructive behavior left and right without even realizing it. Like some part of me is trying to make it easier to just say, you know what, it's, it's time, just end it. A friend recently saw me in this shirt. For those of you who don't know what this stands for, it means don't forget to be awesome. But this friend looked at me and said, don't forget to be Adam. And I think that's important, not for me solely, but for everyone to remember who you are, who you want to be, and whether or not that works with other people's expectations or society's expectations, it, it doesn't matter. We need to remember who we are inside and who we want to be, and we need to remember that those people are awesome. We are awesome. I am awesome. You are awesome. That was probably saying awesome too many times in one sentence, but it remains true. We need to not listen to those voices that are constantly judging and nagging at us, whether they come from other people or from inside ourselves. Life has a lot of good and wonderful things, and the price of that is that we have to endure the crap. It's not easy, but nothing worth getting is ever easy. And there are always going to be those days where all you want is the peace of oblivion, the end to everything, be it good or bad. But no matter how long that's been going on, no matter how long it seems to go on, and no matter how you wonder where the relief will be, it's coming. I'm not an optimist. I am not a pessimist either. I believe we all have the right to feel like crap when things are crappy. But it's important to recognize that that can change. It's not going to change on your timeline or mine, no matter how much we wish it would. But the world and our lives are always changing. I've been looking around me a lot and seeing those endings. I see businesses I love closing. I see my time here in Tacoma possibly coming to an end. I see friends and loved ones' lives coming to an end. I see so many endings. But the thing about endings is that they come before beginnings. Nothing new can begin until something ends. So I'm trying. I'm trying very hard, even as it seems like everything I've been fighting for, everything worth living for, seems to be coming to an end, which is an absolute exaggeration, but that's how this works. That's how depression works. That's how suicidal tendencies work. It exaggerates on everything bad and ignores the good. But as much as I feel like everything is ending, I have to remember that it is not everything that is ending, it is just this chapter. And I have to get through this ending to see the beginning of the next chapter. So this was a little more preachy than I intended, a little less talking about my personal emotions. It's very difficult to do so when it's windy and people are walking by. But if anyone has any questions, I will be happy to answer them in a future video or in the comments. Just remember that no matter what you are feeling, you are not the only one feeling it. And I know, I know that it feels like that a lot of the time. It feels like you're the only one and it feels like no one could possibly understand. But there are people out there, there are people going through exactly what you are going through. There are people going through similar things. There are people who aren't going through what you're going through at all, but they feel the same way. You are not alone. Even if you don't feel like anyone in your life cares about you, there are people out there who are waiting to care about you. There are people out there who are part of your future. And quite frankly, if you think nobody cares about you now, if you think no one can sympathize with you right now, you're lying to yourself. You are lying to yourself to make it easier to end it. I've been there before, and I'm there a lot now. But life is more complicated than that, and it's in life's complications that we find the things worth struggling for. If anyone needs help or needs someone to talk to, I'll leave links in the description of places that can help, or you can message me directly here on YouTube. I've made this offer before, and this time I should warn you that my answers may not be swift, because I'm going through my own struggles, and sometimes that just leads me to be unable to do anything. But I will be an ear as best as I can, I will give advice as best as I can, and together we will keep struggling. Together we will all keep looking for those complexities that are worth going on for. I'm Adam the Alien. Until next time, fare thee well. Fare thee very, very well.